What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. In this video today, I'm gonna to show you what I think are the four best skills to use with the Sorcerer Vocation in Dragon's Dogma 2. Using these four skills means that you are maximizing your DPS and it is going to trivialize a lot of the really difficult fights in the game. Ready, let's go. Our first skill is Prescient Flare, which can eventually be upgraded to Orgro Flare. And what this is, is basically a dot that you put on the enemy. And during the time that this dot is ticking away, you can hit the enemy with just normal basic attacks from your staff, or you can hit it with more magic, or even your teammates can hit the same spot to power this dot up. After a certain amount of time has passed, this thing will rupture and essentially cause a bunch of clustered explosions ripping the enemy apart. This can be devastating to the HP bar of some of the tougher enemies in the game, especially given the right set of circumstances where you hit this dot with a lot of additional damage, as well as your teammates combining on the same spot. Now, what makes this so good is that you can combine this with another spell like High Leaven or High Salamander, which also deals a lot of damage and can be essentially triggered to deal more damage, like in the case of High Leaven, where you can keep hitting the button and just keep lightning striking, which will just keep empowering this orb. Or in the case of High Salamander, where it drops fire on the ground, and as long as the enemies are standing in this fire, they are just, you know, ticking more onto this dot. Once that explodes, you're going to see the boss HP simply melt away. And at the same time, this works very well, throwing it into crowds as well for just some good old fashioned crowd control. The other two skills I think comes as no surprise because these are actually the ultimates or the best skills that are available to the sorcerer. But that is, of course, Meteoron, which is basically, you know, shooting a bunch of meteors into the air and having them rain down on the enemy. And then Maelstrom, which is a massive tornado. Now, both of these spells are good in different conditions. They're Definitely Maelstrom is more suited for a situation where the enemy is trapped and can't necessarily walk out of it or get out of the range of it. And likewise, Meteoron is really good for a bunch of enemies that are spread apart because it will just blow them up as these meteors rain down. Nonetheless, there is no specific use case for these. I've used Maelstrom on dragons like tons of times, which is a large open space and it absolutely just shreds them. Both of these skills really elevate the sorcerer's damage profile to something special, but it is worth noting that both of them have insanely long cast times. And if you take any damage during this casting animation, you lose all of that time as well as no damage actually getting through onto the enemies so super super important to have a really good front line that is distracting the enemy and keeping the aggro on them so that you can stand in the back and pelt the enemy with these spells both Meteoron and Maelstrom have extensive quests that you need to follow to actually unlock these two, which is outside the scope of this video. However, if that's something that you'd like to see me bring to the channel, please go ahead and leave a comment and I will start producing it immediately. And that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this useful in any way, please consider liking, subbing, and commenting on the video, as well as checking the description of this video for a link to a Discord server of like-minded gamers if you want to join. I also stream on Kick every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Love to see you over there. But as always, it's just super important to me that you have a fantastic morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. Till next video, fucking cheers.